out checking my heifers today. Um, this is another reason why I use my horse to check cows and fence a lot. It's because, as you can see here, we are swimming in some pretty deep water. It's not quite to his belly, and then in some spots it drops down to his belly. But it's too deep for the four-wheeler. Trust me, it's too deep for the four-wheeler. My little brother tried to prove me wrong. I had to pull him out with my horse. But, um, yeah, so a lot of our pasture, if it's not really hilly, it's underwater because everything that's not low ground or hilly is farmed in our area. So, uh, yeah, I just get to ride my horse a lot, which is an all right deal because it's kind of how I make some money, I ride horses. But I'm just walking around the whole thing. I haven't checked it for probably a couple of weeks. Just check the fence out, make sure no deer have gone through it or the cows have Walk, like walked up to it and swish their tail and that'll get the hot wire to um, roll up with the barbed wire and most of our grass in the low areas here like this up here on top is a brome grass and then like out there you get your more of your canary reeds and I call that tickle grass the white stuff there I think it's actually a, some sort of a foxtail I should know this but I can't remember it off the top of my head we call it tickle grass and then you get out in there and it's just a combination of water hemp, slough grass, all kinds of just junk. But it makes it nice when you have low ground because then you don't have to worry about watering your cows. Unless it's a year like last year where it was so dry that we had to water cows. So, yep, it's pretty fun. As long as I don't get fall off my horse and into the water. 